Another thing is, is about the quality and to make sure that the boots are waterproof. Okay, very often, I mean, we use in all our firefighting boots a membrane system, so these boots are guaranteed 100% waterproof. But there's one big misunderstanding when it comes to waterproofness. Waterproof is not waterproof. Because the standard that tells you that boots are waterproof is going like this. You get boots into a special machine with water, so they go down into water, the boots. The water is only one centimeter above the lowest part of the sole, so approximately up to here. Okay? And in this little bit of water, the boots, they make 500 flex movements. Okay? And even if water comes inside, even if there is some penetration of water, just a little bit, I think it cannot be bigger than three square centimeters of wet spots inside, then officially these boots are waterproof. But this is nonsense, because 500 flex movements equals 500 steps when you make. A firefighter makes, or every person makes, thousands each day. So a boot that has the stamp of waterproofness, officially, is not really waterproof. So basically what Hikes is doing is, we use our boots, put into water completely, we make at least, depending on the model, but at least 300,000 flex movements, and there's not allowed any water inside. So, so zero penetration of water, then we guarantee that this boot is waterproof, for the entire time you are using it. We have models with a special membrane, for example these boots, I will show you them later. Here we have also 500,000 flex movements and no water. So, so we have very specialized models where we say even higher needs to be the standard from what even we say. Okay, so, so it depends a little bit uh, on that. Also, what we do, and those are these models with this specialized membrane, the membrane is called Crosstech. Crosstech means it's not only waterproof, but also it doesn't allow to go any bacteria or virus through it as well. So it gives you protection against viruses and bacteria. Especially for firefighters, it makes sense in two ways. When we talk about injured people, sick people or something like this, when there's a lot of blood or something in this area, then we have protection against viruses, but also when there is a flood, what happens afterwards when the water goes back into the river, when it goes down, what happens, the, the rest that needs to be cleaned up by firefighters is very dirty and has a lot of bacteria because there were animals that died and so on. Also one thing, not every boot with the same membrane will give you the same waterproof and breathability as another one, okay? So basically, very often people say, I have a boot with a membrane system, but it's not breathable, the boot. I'm sweating inside too much or something like this. This is not because of the membrane. The membrane is basically this what you see here. Actually, this white line here at the end, that's, that's the membrane. Everything else has nothing to do with the membrane. It is only why, you, why the feet are sweating in boots, is because all the materials that you see, they are glued together, they have to be glued together, and if you use too much glue, then basically the steam will not go through. So the membrane is working, but not the other materials, and not the, the glue. So basically Hikes has a specialized way to put the glue on, to glue these parts together, it looks like a spider web when we glue all the materials together. So, so what we ensure is that in between there's enough space for the steam to go through, even though all the materials are well glued together. Also what you see, these foams that you use here on the sides, and it's also here, basically it has open pores. So what happened when you use the boot by walking, the boot is working like a pump a little bit, okay? So once you start walking and you create steam inside, the steam can go through this foam upwards and ventilate later on. This is very important when we talk about firefighting boots. 
because firefighting boots have very thick leather and there is no textile on the side. Then you need a very good ventilation system inside of the boots.